Pisces, this is your week ahead tarot card reading by Born Without Boundaries. Tarot, it looks like something new is about to spark or pop off for you. Something new is about to begin. And it's got to do with bring your ideas to life. So this isn't necessarily coming as a surprise to you. It's almost like you are initiating something. You are seeing something that you have believed in or thought of manifest itself or there's inspiration here so let's get into it shall we pisces this is your week ahead tarot card reading by born without boundaries tarot it is a message for pisces sun moon and rising sign this is an energy reading and it's timeless so please take it where and how it resonates in your life it would not have come to you if you had not called it into you that being said there is a new reading every single week so if you enjoy them Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell, selecting all notifications so that you will be notified when I upload your favorite content. Um, that being said, I do do personal readings, so you are welcome to schedule or book uh, many different services with me. Please check out my website, uh, www.bornwithoutboundariesterrow.com if you need attention in, in, in that, in that um, if you need attention to a specific matter in your life. Um, and then last but not least, do join the BWOB membership to this channel because it offers you so many benefits, not the least of which is unlimited access to all of my extended readings. That is access to over 3,000 videos that normally people do not get access to. So that link is uh, down below in the description box as well as in um, on my channel head. You ready, Pisces? Pisces. This is a message for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sun. This is an energy reading, so let's delve, let's dive in. Bring your ideas to life is our central energy. It's the heart of our reading. We have a lot that's cascading toward the future, but um Clearly something's popping off this week. Co-create with spirit. So you are acting upon intuition here. Right? And this is also maybe divinely guided inspiration. Um, this could be something to do with uh, intuitive or metaphysical arts. Bring your ideas to life. I don't know if somebody's using magic, but I think that art is magic. So it could just be that as well. Um... It's going to be powerful. It's powerfully divined. And what could be happening is some sort of darkness or some sort of pain or suffering that you had experienced in your life could be what catalyzed this interest or what what bought out made you want to do something, say something, activate something, um, take action. Um, thinking about things a lot in your head and then them coming to the forefront to impact your actions. It may come from a dark place or a place that needs to be healed. So let's get deeper into that. Let's see, take a leap of faith. So it is definitely, um, you need God here. Um, no, I don't think it's bad news. I think, I think it's gonna take a lot of courage. Um, courage is really the fuel for faith. Um, and faith is connecting to God on the other side of things, even though maybe you can only see the smoke and the wind and the fire and the storms. So we have take a leap of faith beyond this dark thing. There could be something very beautiful that comes from it. And then we have in reverse, this and that are true. So ultimately you have made a decision and you're not trying to compromise right now. Um, you're not seeing the other perspective because you don't have to. There is a decisiveness in that energy that just came out for you. 
And so a decision to take a leap of faith and confront a hardship, especially through inspiration as we read them all up. Now let's look at what could happen in the future. Remember that the future is always in flux. So how you act, <clears throat> excuse me, how you activate, how you use the energy that's in front of me um, is, is going to be really up to you. We have embrace the in-between and be here now. It's almost like whatever you've been through is catalyzing a change of mindset in you to enable you to not not care so much about definites or certainties but instead make you feel kind of good with where you are in that moment which is very refreshing and uplifting and then of course we have tend to the small things coming out even beyond that okay you need to tackle an energy that has made you kind of maybe not engage as much as you could things are starting to build up because that's what it says it's like go with the flow yeah be here now but tend to the small things is on the other side of that meaning that there could potentially be a build up if you don't take action on whatever is going on in your life right now there could be a build up and it's going to be a lot more to deal with than you have now confront this this week is for right now, the strongest message I'm getting, let's go into tarot. Pisces. Message for Pisces, please. Okay, that's plum right in the middle. Uh, this could have something to do with a Taurus or with finances or with something that has stayed and has sort of oh, we've done, always done it this way, a tradition. It could also have to do with specifically your marriage, okay? Somebody's been sitting on something. That, that's what it is. It's like, hey, this is the way it's always been, so we're not going to question it. And that is clearly not functioning or working anymore because there has been a buildup of all these rats in the walls, all these the mice, the sicknesses. So ultimately, however things have been working all along needs to be done. It needs to be questioned. It needs to be not trusted or not allowed to, maybe not even allowed to continue, but definitely questioned. Um, because we have a change of heart or a change of mind Definitely a change of desire, wanting to go into a different direction or, or curious about something that isn't so traditional or hasn't been so well established. Um, it seems to me that somebody is not ready to either make a commitment or say, this is the way I want things to stay, or I'm ready and willing to stay here. Um, and ultimately, if that's not confronted this week, there will be a buildup as much as you try to make it work. There will be a buildup of all those, all those feelings that haven't been addressed. Um, I think you want to steer clear of tradition. That's what it, that's what the card is saying. Go out on your, this is Virgo energy. So these two cards together, this card on top of it says, I don't want to go the traditional route. I don't want to do something that is expected or would be the norm or even would be remaining stationary. Then you have the nine of pentacles, which means um, um, stuff that it, which it means that there are resources that are coming to you that you've earned. It means being able to stand firm in your own sense of self. It means wanting to be healthy on your own. So it could be that this would be be single, you know, be like stay by yourself or do something on your own. Now, what it could be saying is now is not the time for that. If that's the way you, let's put it this way. If that's the way you've always been Pisces, it's time to change. It's time to break the tradition. If, if you've always run right into relationships or right into different partnerships, it's time to break that tradition. It's time to go a different route. 
because something has remained unquestioned for too long and it needs to be questioned. Pisces. What, this, what does this tend to the small things? Wheel of Fortune is coming out more toward the end of the week. Um, also, times are changing. I think that's what it can say. The Sun card is here, and so is the Wheel of Fortune. It's stemming from standing on your own two feet, being unique, being individual, maybe producing or providing something for yourself, or abundance starting to roll in. So I think that there's a change of is almost like encouraging you to do something differently than you normally would have or maybe what's different is you're choosing tradition you're choosing something that is more tangibly reliable then what is this card tend to the small things embrace the in-between what do you what do you mean you may be surprising somebody or somebody may be surprising you because you think they're going to walk away, but instead they're kind of got to, they want to stay. They want to work on things because they're seeing that there's an investment here that has a great deal of potential. Something, somebody is worth staying or worth the wait, like, and there's a value coming in or being affirmed for that. I don't know if it's a situation or an individual that depends on your situation. What does this tend to the small things? Ah, obligations, fears. It could very well, because this is coming out in the future. There's somebody here who's afraid of things not being as fluent as they wanted it to be. There's somebody here who's afraid of getting through the small things and the details. But the value is in the details now. The devil is in trying to be devil may care and avoid them. That's where somebody has been stuck. The direction God is calling you to go is to ground your feet into the ground, root yourself, and stick this through. Stick it out because you have to confront whatever those dark things are, whatever those sicknesses are, whatever just the, the details are, whatever it is that you're afraid of. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take confronting it and dealing with it to make you stronger. And if you do, Pisces or whoever you're dealing with, this is going to turn out quite wonderfully. You can, you can see um, there's two different outcomes. It's almost like, I don't know if how old you guys are, but when I was a kid, they always had those books of you could choose your ending, you know, and that's what that's what God's saying here. You can choose your ending. There are two paths for you to go. Right. One is to do what you always would have done and maybe try to avoid or not want to confront or deal with um, th those things. Right. Like like letting fear be your guide. And then you're going to have a lot more shit to deal with. But if you go the other route, you stand up on your own. You allow the value to come in. You commit yourself. You slow and steady and pedantic, right? And and it's Vir it's Virgo energy, so it's directly opposite than your energy. So it is scheduled. It is practical. And it is day to day. There's a great deal of happiness that is going to come out of that for you. But ultimately, it is your choice. There's a beautiful opportunity that comes in here. And it's almost like, listen, I don't even have a choice with this. This is this is too good to refuse. Um, it may, might have come in at the beginning of the week or a little while ago. Do I trust this? Yeah, you do. Let's get a moon card. Remember, we have that solar eclipse coming up. <sighs> Let's see if we can get more. Hold on. Pisces. Conclusions are within reach full moon eclipse. So this is actually what's leading up to uh, this past weekend because we just had a full moon eclipse. And ultimately what that's saying is emotionally I'm ready to be dynamic. I'm ready to change up who I am internally. I'm ready for this difference. I know that I need to behave or act differently here. So if you felt that shift recently, it's a confirmation of the energies that were shifting around you and where you were being directed. Um, okay, conclusions are within reach. Uh, is, maybe somebody is afraid of you 
or you're afraid of, I, I don't know. There's just this energy of somebody's going to get their, their due, what, what their, their value is coming in. Um, and it, it, something was released over, um, this could be, so then that last moon, was it Libra? It's, it's, it's like, it's like, it took a while for somebody to see somebody else's value, right? At first, maybe you were going to cut them loose and you would have gotten the same old, same old, right? There was just this energy or just, just clarify, God, what conclusions are within reach? What, what is the value you want Pisces to see here? What is the value you want Pisces to see here? Follow your heart, follow in faith, open your heart, let somebody have your heart. Um, that's, that's, it's like, it's like trust your heart and where it's leading. Show somebody that you care, show somebody that you love them. Um, this is a really good investment. And we have the Aries energy, which is, this is a new beginning. This is an, um, uh, something that you're trying, you're initiating, you're taking the initiative for something that you know is going to be valuable in the future. And it is, I think that that's the predictive energy of this is going to last because it has enough energy and commitment behind it to last. Um, this could be somebody, an Aries energy that has taken control of a situation that has shown you their heart that wants to evolve with you or move into the future with you, whatever this is, um, a job, work, like job relationship, whatever this is. Um, it's almost like you want to, you always put your heart on your sleeve. No, but it's almost like you want to, you want to put, putting your heart on your sleeve to action. Let's, let's grab one of these. No. An angel card. Let's grab an angel card, Pisces. Answered prayers. All your great work has opened the door for divine solutions and support. This has to do with the Aries eclipse that's coming up. And I know, I know that there's this, this um, kind of... You got to wait because that's when the energy is popping off. All your great work has, it's like, yeah, let somebody appreciate you. Let somebody appreciate what you're actually capable of um, and, and believe that you deserve this appreciation. I know you've maybe been looking for it and waiting for it, but ultimately when it comes in, that could make it a little bit challenging. Oh, this is success though. This is somebody seeing your value, credit where credit is due, standing independently. Um, this could be a Virgo energy. This, this. Okay, so why is the devil on the table? Why is the devil on the table? Can you please clarify that energy? For Pisces, please, please clarify that energy. No, that doesn't make any sense to me. Devil energy is restriction. Restriction on new love. Trying to avoid new love. You know, basing your old love on your past hurts and pain. Or still loving somebody from the past. King of Cups is here and Knight of Pentacles. Took a long time for somebody to grow the fuck up. That's what it's saying. But I gotta tell you, it seems to be that's what's happened. Let's go to the extended, guys. I will see you there.